Hey everyone, it's Clary here, and today I'll be showing you how to set up crossplay on your server. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to set up Geyser on a dedicated service. Once you're on your server as server.pro, you can just head into your server and create a new service. There you have to ensure your service is set to Java Edition. Then, on the type drop list, select Geyser Spigot. In the version section, you can select whatever version you're intending to play with. But if you're wanting Bedrock players to join, we highly recommend setting this to the latest. The display name option here is optional, so you can leave it as that. Once you've got all of these options set up correctly, press Create Service. This will begin the creation of your server. Once that's done, you'll be able to see if Guys has been set up correctly by checking the console. You should be able to see the following message. If you already have an existing service, you can also just head to its configuration tab and select the Guys' Spigot type for the server. Now I'll be showing you how to set up Geyser on a shared service. The initial steps are fairly similar. All you have to do is create a new service or head to the configurations tab of an existing service. There you have to ensure the service is set to Minecraft Java Edition and that the type is set to Geyser Spigot. To ensure Bedrock players can join smoothly, we also recommend leaving the server on the latest version of Minecraft. Lastly, the display name is purely optional, so you can leave it as Minecraft if you'd like. Once you've gotten all these options configured correctly, make sure to press Create Service. Upon clicking this, you'll see that this notice pops up. Please note that the Geyser port will need to manually be updated in the Geyser config to one of your extra ports. This just means that we'll have to follow a couple of extra steps to get Geyser running on your server, so it's safe to press install. It should take a couple of seconds for the service to make the necessary changes. However, once everything has been generated in the console, head to Configuration. For the required last few steps, you'll need to copy the Bedrock port over here. Ensure that the third shared port is copied, as the first and second are used to make your server function. Once you've done that, head to Files and then open the Plugins folder. Then open up the Geyser Spigot folder and the config.yml text file. Locate the port option under Bedrock and then paste the port you copied from before. After that's done, save the file and restart the service for the changes to take effect. This should take a couple of seconds to fully restart, but once it's completed, you'll be able to log into your server both on Bedrock and Java. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it helped you set up your server. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact our support or comment down below. Bye guys!